hope you're having a fabulous day. So today I'm about to go to my chiropractor. Strongly, by the way, I don't know how many of you watching are actually pregnant with me at the same time as me. Please tell me in the comments. I want to know who is pregnant watching this. How far along are you? Are you having a great pregnancy? Has it been hard? I'm just curious. But I strongly recommend going to the chiropractor. Like, <laughs> I'm not a doctor, so actually don't take my advice ever when it comes to medical things. With Flynn, it was the number one thing that helped me with my aches and pains. I have really bad pelvic girdle pain. My pelvic bone is like totally like this. Like it's totally like and uh, feels shattered when I'm pregnant. It's extremely painful. Physical therapy is something I've added this pregnancy that's helped a lot. Physical therapy helps a lot, but the chiropractor, I'm telling you, when I'm not pregnant, I don't go to the chiropractor. No interest in it. I'm like, Meh. doesn't help me. Like it could, didn't, it wouldn't matter if I was like in so much pain, I wouldn't go to the chiropractor. Like I'm like, it's not my jam. But when I'm pregnant, chiropractor. So I have that. And there was something I wanted to talk to you about, but now I don't remember what it was. So I should probably remember that. Oh, I remember. So I, I'm uploading my vlog for today and as I'm uploading it some videos like sometimes I'll like have a YouTube video on as it's uploading and I'm doing other mindless work reading emails whatever and I went on to YouTube and one of the recommended videos for me was my own Christmas vlog which I never watch my own videos like literally ever sometimes I'll go back and rewatch stuff of Flynn just because like I want to go like remember stuff like with Eric Eric and I'll sit down and rewatch old stuff of Flynn that's kind of it and I clicked on it and it made me so excited for Christmas <laughs> Like, I just wish it was Christmas. Like, I just wish it was Christmas right now. I love Christmas so much. I've been craving Christmas. Christmas makes me so happy. And I'm so excited that like Flynn was born right before Christmas. And I'm so excited these twins are gonna come right before Christmas. Christmas is just the best time of year. It's just like, I'm just so excited. I was thinking last year during quarantine, I did a Christmas in the middle of summer and it was so fun. And I had like my niece and nephews over and all this stuff. I feel like I need to do it again. Cause I can't wait till December. I want to do Christmas again. Do it. I missed it so much. I'm just like, I just need, and I put on my like, my sparkly green dresses hanging back there that I'm gonna wear in the show. And I was wearing that last night and that reminded me of Christmas because I wear that in a Christmas show and it's green and sparkly. And I just love Christmas. Maybe I'll do a Christmas in August. And that'll be something we can look forward to after my show's over. We can just all plan Christmas together. Corey's frankly running up and down stairs, getting props for the show. Ready? out of the closet again. Oh, Corey, again? Congratulations. Gutsy. Uh, anyway, that's what I want to talk to you about is Christmas. I just love Christmas so much. I just want it to be Christmas today. Okay guys, Corey and I are at McDonald's. Cause I keep seeing on TikTok, I see people calling this like a Korean iced coffee. But basically what they get is an ice cream and a coffee from McDonald's and they dip the ice cream in the coffee. And apparently avocado. it's, uh, yeah, kinda, huh? The avocado's hot coffee and an espresso. Oh, you're right. So maybe it's a, it's a kind of the same concept. There's also another thing uh, Corey saw of a woman, you've seen it a few times. I've seen it a few times. Of people taking an apple pie and dipping it in a caramel sundae. sundae. So hopefully their ice cream, ice cream machine is working. Last time I went through McDonald's, their soda machine wasn't working and everyone in the comments was shook because they were like, wait a second, their soda machine's not working but their ice cream machine is because I guess the ice cream machine's never working at McDonald's. No, yeah. I never really ordered uh, McDonald's ice cream that much. Only like this pregnancy I've ordered it a couple times but we're gonna try it. I wish it was chocolate ice cream. They don't have chocolate ice cream It's here. just vanilla. Back in my day, they had chocolate ice cream at McDonald's. Do you remember that? Uh-uh. Oh, they did. There was a time where there's chocolate soft serve ice cream at McDonald's. I remember it. I remember it well. Because I would get, you can get a free sample in a tiny cone when I was a little kid. And I guess I half. remember that. I remember the free sample. It doesn't exist anymore. Okay. So the only issue is that these coffees are very full, so I need to dunk some out because I can't drink that much coffee. I'll get sick. First of all, yum. Oh my God, so good. So we dumped out a little bit so we could fit the ice cream in it. So I don't know, I, I just saw people dumping it in. Yeah. But I don't know how much of it is like, I don't know. Okay, so then it's dumped in and you swirl her. Oh, it's like, happening. How much of it do you put in there? Like, the whole, do you let the whole thing go in and melt or? I kind of want to taste the ice cream to be honest. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Try the ice cream. Like, what do I do? Mm. Like, I kind of want to let the whole ice cream just like fall in there. I'm gonna like, break mine off. <gasps> yes. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but I'm doing it. I did it too. Mm. Okay, I don't know how long you're supposed to let it melt. I don't know, I don't know. I'm sure we did it wrong, but I'm gonna try. Ready? Taste 
tastes like coffee. Yeah, it just tastes like coffee. <laughs> I think maybe you're supposed to let the whole thing melt in there or something. I don't have time for that. I know. If you just eat the ice cream, it's bomb. Like if you just take a chunk of the ice cream, like this. Like this. Oh, well, some ice cube. Like ice cream with a little bit of coffee is amazing. Now I'm intrigued to try a real Korean coffee because this ain't it. It's not it. But the ice cream is good with a little bit of coffee on it. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen people have a life changing like time and I and my life wasn't changed. Yeah, I agree with that statement. My life's not changed. Okay, let's try the next one. Also, I have to pee so bad it's like embarrassing. <gasps> apple pie with a caramel sundae. Uh, uh. And apparently you just dip the apple pie into the caramel sundae. We only got one. It's okay, you go first and then I'll try it. Some people just dip it, some people like crush it in so it's Ooh. like a apple pie McFlurry, but we'll just dip it. I think we'll just dip it. I've never had a McDonald's apple pie. Oh. This is my first time. What? Mm -hmm. But how do I get it? Cause Why, because is it gross to you? No, I just never, never had thought it. to get it. I'm trying to get the caramel, I gotta get a little bit of everything. She's breaking! Ah. That's incredible. Yay! Here. Whoa! Yeah? Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm just pregnant, but that's good. <laughs> this is good. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm so that one is a yes. The concept of ice cream and coffee is superb, but just maybe we did it wrong. I don't know. I don't know. But there you go. Hope you liked your McDonald's TikTok trend haul. Bye. Whoa, look at your cool backpack. What is it, Flynn? What's your backpack? It's a Marshall. Marshall from Paw Patrol? Look. Whoa, what does that do? It comes oh, okay. the hook. Whoa. That's so cool. Ow. Can you shoot out? a plant? <gasps> wow. It's dinner time. I was craving all day the salad I made up in my brain. I see a lot of food on TikTok right now, so I must have seen a kale salad that made me go, oh, I want a kale salad. I made one and salmon and crunchy smushed potatoes. But the salad looks good, I hope it's good. I made dressing with olive oil and lemon, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of honey, salt and pepper. I put in finely chopped kale, almonds, apples, blueberries, goat cheese, avocado, and snap peas. So I hope it's good, let's try it. Please be good, please quench my craving. Hmm. How is it? It'd be better if it was cold, but warm is kinda like, not warm, but like room temperature is kinda like, meh. Hi everybody, I took a shower, it felt great. I hung out with Eric for a while and I need to rehearse tonight some songs for the show. I'm pre-recording. That was a fly, but it sounded like a bee and it like went right in my ear. That was so weird. Oh my God, that stressed me out. <laughs> Get away from me, stupid bee or fly, whatever the heck you are. It was so loud in my ear. Okay, I don't know where it went. I'm sure that will happen again, so I apologize in advance. Um, oh, that was a fuzz. <laughs> I am so stupid. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm recording, pre-recording a song with someone else. Like I have a guest who's gonna be in my show. Oh my God, who's just me? Why was it just on me like that? That was so gross, get off me. It was like literally just walking on my hand. Why was it on me? Oh God, this is stressing me out. If it happens again, I'm gonna have to switch rooms. I cannot, I can't live like this. I don't remember what I was talking about. I'm pre-recording a song tomorrow with my friend who's an incredible singer and I need to practice the song. But now I'm stressed because I can't really practice it in here if there's like a fly that's gonna try to fly in my mouth. Um, but yesterday in my vlog I said, you guys tell me what to talk about today. And so I'm on the... <laughs> so I'm reading the comments on my vlog from yesterday. You guys said a lot of fun things. Uh, Alexandra said, random question, what music does Flynn like to listen to? Any musical theater? Are any of the babies responding to certain music? The babies kick a little bit when I sing. But they're still really small, so I only feel them moving a few times a day. Yeah, Flynn likes truck music and he likes Paw Patrol music right now. He's obsessed with Paw Patrol. And every night we dance to Paw Patrol. That's his favorite right now. He likes like music. He likes all music. Sorry, I'm rubbing my nose. I know it's disgusting. But yeah, he he likes all music. But Paw Patrol and truck music is his favorite music. Things to talk about for tomorrow. Does Flynn understand he's going to be a big brother? Is he excited? I saw you got him some baby dolls. Does he like to play with the babies? He likes to take care of the babies. So he doesn't like play with them. He likes to put them to bed. He likes to feed them. He likes to make sure they're safe. But he doesn't like want to play with them. He just wants to like make sure they're safe and like sleeping. He understands 
as much as he can. He knows that there are two babies in my tummy and that there's a girl and a boy. And every time I go to the doctor, when I get home, every time he says, did the babies come out? He knows they're gonna come out. I don't think he really gets it. Like he's never experienced a pregnant person. He doesn't know that what that all means. I think it'll help him a lot. My sister-in-law's pregnant, she's due very soon. And I think that when her baby comes, he'll understand better. Cause I'll be able to explain like that baby was in her tummy and then it came out and that's what's gonna happen with the twins, I have two. I think he's gonna be an incredible big brother, but I don't know that he like really gets it. A stone with no moss said, topic for tomorrow, what is your comfort content? Is there a movie, a book, TV show, soundtrack, etc., that you keep revisiting when you need comfort? I think I have watched the 1998 Parent Trap movie 50 plus times since the pandemic started. That is an incredible movie. So I applaud you for that. That's a very good decision. I don't have a comfort TV show or movie. I don't really like, I'm not good at watching movies and stuff like that. I have comfort activities. Um, so doing a craft or cooking, being with my family and playing games with them, like playing mafia with my family, hanging out with Corey and talking with Corey. Like those are my comfort things that I do. Like if I need comfort, I'll just like come sit and talk with Corey or like we'll go to Michael's and get a craft or go to Color Me Mind and Paint. Like I need an activity, something active to do. I don't want to sit and watch something or sit and listen to something. So those are like the things I do when I need comfort and calm. I've got a question. This is from Anna Man. Are twins typically born vaginally or via C-section? Could be something for you to chat about in your next vlog. Just curious how about how different the birth of the twins will be besides it being being done twice. Um, we don't know how it's going to happen for me, but let me get you some statistics because I don't want to miss say anything. Oh, Daisy sees the fly. She just tried to eat it. She sees it. What's up? What's on the door handle? Can I kill it? Oh, where'd it go? It left. Daisy's trying to eat it. She's actually doing something productive. Daisy, I'm so proud of you. <gasps> it's attacking me. <laughs> Have you ever seen someone afraid of a fly? I am so lame. So on Google, which is always right, <laughs> it says about one third of all twins are born vaginally. And the process is similar to that of giving birth to a single baby. I'm not an expert, I'm not a doctor, but this is what I know so far, just from the information I have gathered from being pregnant with twins and from my doctors. C-sections are more common because there's more complications with twins, which is why I'm at the doctor every five seconds, which is why I have more symptoms. A lot of doctors will recommend a C-section and even try to plan a C-section and C-sections are great. Um, I was born via C-section. All my siblings were. Um, C-sections can save lives and it's, I'm really grateful that C-sections exist. I had a vaginal birth with Flynn and I really liked it. And I think both are wonderful. Like I don't like, I'm really excited um, to have babies. So <laughs> the plan for me right now is to have my twins vaginally. That is the plan and the hope and if that doesn't happen because of, you know, whatever issues, then I will have the twins via C-section. We just don't know. Like this says, one third, I guess, of twins are vaginal, so it's more likely it will be a C-section. My doctor, she said all that needs to happen is just as long as everyone's healthy and baby A, which is the boy, if the boy is head down, like his head is facing the exit hole, and my placenta is completely out of the way and there's no complications. Like there's no reason why I can't have a vaginal delivery of the twins. So that's what we're aiming for. But if it doesn't happen, I'll have a C-section and that's awesome and I'm grateful for that too. So uh, we'll see. There's no way to know what's gonna happen unless I plan it. There is the option to like schedule a C-section if I would prefer that, like if that's what I were to choose. But right now I am choosing to see if we can do it vaginally. If I can't, then I'll have a C-section. But I do have to like, if I end up doing it vaginally, it's baby boy will come out and then I'll birth baby boy's placenta. And then I have to birth <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> and then I'll have to birth the little girl and then um, birth her placenta. So it's a lot of birthing things. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to expect. It's all like so interesting and new and different and exciting. Madison said, you talk about not having that pregnancy glow moment. It really helps me feel better about my pregnancy. It's really hard seeing my body change so rapidly and drastically and having to accept that I simply can't do some of the things I used to do without thinking. I'm glad I'm not the only one that feels like not everything is sunshine and rainbows all the time. Growing humans is hard. Madison, that comment makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Thank you for saying that because yeah, it's hard sometimes when you see people on social media and just living their best life. And I even realized that like, I post pictures and TikToks and things of me like pregnant for two seconds where I'm just like, yay. And like, it's when my makeup's all done and stuff. I'm like, am I making it look like this is easy? Am I making it look like, cause 
I don't, I would hate if anyone ever saw one of my pictures and was like, why is it easy for her and not for me? You know what I mean? Cause I don't want to make anyone feel that way. Cause that's how I feel. But it also just shows me like, maybe it's not easy for anybody. <laughs> but I know people who said it was easy. It's like, I have friends who are like, it's pretty easy. I kind of like being pregnant. It's like my favorite thing in the world. So some women do really love it. And I think that's awesome. But Madison, you can get through this. I know it's hard, but you can get through it. I believe in you. Heather said, topic for tomorrow's vlog. Talk about baby names. Do you have them chosen yet? You know what? We don't. Eric and I started making a list of names before we knew what the babies were, what um, sex they were gonna be. Tonight was actually the first time where we sat down and really talked about it. And we came up with some cool ideas that we liked, but we're not 100% on anything yet. We just like kind of talked about some different ideas and options and family names and just names that we think sound cool and what would sound good with Flynn and what would sound good together and what are things that mean things to us that we wanna pass down, like what's important to us and our family and we came up with some cool stuff we didn't pick anything but like we certainly came up with some new cool ideas we don't know but our goal is to know the names before they're born <laughs> because with Flynn we did not we didn't know Flynn's name for three days and that was really stressful so we want to know before so we're working on it but anyway thanks for um, sending in like suggestions for me to chat about with you guys tonight ah oh, tomorrow I'm gonna go sing with my friend so I need to rehearse that oh my god it's midnight Colleen why did you wait so long to do this it's because I have an excuse I was coming up with baby names with my husband and then I found out something exciting that you guys know very very soon you'll know this week they told me I'm not allowed to talk about it yet so I'm like dying um but you'll know this week it's something fun and exciting it's happening this week so then we were talking about that for a really long time so now I need to go rehearse the show a little bit before I go to bed and I love you all I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow you can relax Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.